Hello everyone, I would like to welcome you in yet another episode of guidelines or gameplay uh, Well guides or gameplay, however you wanna call it uh, Today I woke up around 10, which is, you know, normal hour I wake up at And uh, I decided to record this video The only thing is that, you know, I'm a gamer, so I assume my voice is pretty sleepy I hope you can stand it in the video and you will not, uh, you know, hate it because of that. When it comes to Viego Runpage, because this is the champion that we'll be playing today, uh, we have Conquer, we have Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, um, then we can take Sudden Impact Revenue's Hunter. I believe you can also change the Domination rune page for a different one, but I still like uh, the Conquer the most. That's uh, because you proc it so, so fast with your passive. Um, and I also believe Viego is one of the most broken champions League of Legends currently. He is not enabled to play on stage, so you cannot play him on stage. Um, why is that? I don't really know. Um, there's plenty of bugs with the champion. Well, I do know why, but I cannot share it with you. So I'm very sorry, I cannot share why Viego is OP, but he is OP. Um, and let's try our best to make him look OP in this game as well. So, we are in game. Uh, when it comes to the item I will go for, it's going to be the Red Smite. Well, early game with Viego is pretty straightforward. You just wanna farm, you just wanna get items. When it comes to item build, I recommend Kraken Slayer and Blade of the Ruined King. Blade of the Ruined King, not because Viego is the Ruined King, but because it just fits him well. With uh, the double strike, on passive, he procs two autos, and both of them proc on hit effects. So we have Kraken Slayer, Conquer, and Blade. Uh, if you can proc your passive, you will basically one-shot people. Uh, and this is why I think he's pretty strong. I just want you all to know that when you play League of Legends, and you're ever in a position where people are... Uh, well, um, you know being toxic in the chat or they are just typing too much you Don't be afraid to mute them. You don't have to mute their pings because maybe that's a little bit much, right? At least you want to know what they think You can also mute their pings though because sometimes they use their pings in an offensive way uh, I will not mute their pings for me. It's just the fact that they talk a lot So yeah, basically we want to make sure that you reset your autos uh, with Q or you want to Q right after the auto and you just farm. So normally I take E second always, but I wanna try W because W procs the passive again. So I'm just trying to proc the passive again and I think that's like not too bad. The E most likely would be better though because it does give you a lot of attack. It's 20% attack speed. I don't know, 20% is not that much honestly. I think taking W second could actually be better. Okay, here at Wolves it's very important to um, you know hit all the Wolves with your Q, kind of like Yasuo. Okay, so with the E, this is a tricky part, okay? When you do, Raptors, make sure that you don't reveal your position. If you use E on walls, the E will go around and it will go all the way to mid lane and then you, the enemy mid lane will be able to see you. That's not good, right? Yeah, that's not good. I think that if she took cra- oh. We understand and she basically has to flash. Or die. <laughs> okay, that was, um, I mean, if only one of them moves, I will get a double kill. I, I'm just telling you that I would actually double kill them if only one of them will move. Okay, uh, when it comes to the items, I will go for, I think, pickaxe and shoes. I think that's the best. I, I just want to make sure I have man speed. Uh, I think attack speed is not as important because, again, you progress passive twice, right? So you do a lot of damage with just uh, autos. I think that crack and save will be the first item I'll go for. If you play laning phase with Viego, right? Because some people play laning phase with Viego. I think it's completely fine to, um, you know, play rushing a different item like Blade. Uh, I think Blade Rush on Viego makes a lot of sense too. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but I just know that they have to flash, so... So she messed up her heal. Okay, um, that means we are backing up, I think. That, I was trying to not get rooted, but I still got rooted.
So yeah, the OP thing about this champ is that you steal souls, right? So, um, you know, you can use a couple of abilities in one fight. And when you steal the soul, you also steal the item. And when you steal the item, you also become their champion. Basically, you actually become their champion without the ultimate, right? So you just become very, very, very strong for, uh, you know, a period of time. And when you are stealing the soul, um, you are kind of untargetable. That means you disappear from the map. I mean, even though your body is visible, you disappear from the map. Uh, you can still get hit, I think, by some effects that were like on you before. For example, maybe like Zedult, like it will probably still proc. Now, I believe I'm super strong. I think I will play go max. I don't think Berserker Greaves are necessary. And now that I have my quicker, uh, Quiver, um, I have a lot of attack speed and a lot of a lot of better jungle clear since the precision um, deal additional 20 damage to minions and monsters procs twice. Um, that means I'll basically be watching jungle, jungle camps now. As you can see, the clear is like crazy good right now. As soon as you get this item, you one shot camps. So I recommend basing early if you can get this. Oh, not very good. I think I'm slightly too deep here. I was slightly too deep there, definitely. Um, I was 1v3 and I almost killed one person. So you can kind of see how strong is my champion. I almost won't shoot. Like, look at this guy. If, if I had Kraken Slayer, I mean, okay, so Kraken Slayer at 8 minutes, right? Who has Kraken Slayer at 8 minutes? But if I had one more item, one more item, like even a long sword, he would actually get one shot there. So my damage is crazy. We have to be careful because uh, enemy team is uh, moving quite a lot. I mean, they even uh, used uh, Urgo TP. Not sure, yeah, I did. not sure if the stun will reach. So the problem with this situation is that I don't think I can proc the ult and Talia can ult. Okay, I, I can't really clean this up, unfortunately. I mean, maybe Lax like is moving, so maybe I can, but... Okay, so we got a flash. We got double flash. It's not too bad. Anyway, uh, I, I will base just because of how powerful uh, Kraken Slayer is on the champion. Um, I will base and I buy the item. I think if you want to go Gale Force, you can. It's just that Gale Force is, um, you know, it's a good item, right? Gale Force is a good item. But it doesn't really give you what Kraken Slayer gives you, which is the extra proc of damage. Uh, every third attack deals additional true damage. And this procs on your passive, right? So basically in the combo, you'll proc it twice very, very fast. Mm, I don't think Jinx dies. Okay, well, she dies. But she dies because she was created to use Blush. We max the second, gives us more man speed, attack speed. So all the good, all the good stats. Poppy is here to share my gold. I didn't like that too much. I like to get this gold by myself, but you know, she shared the gold and then she just died. I was really, really bad by her. Oh shit, that was not a very well played. I was about to get one shot here. I think I still kill him though. It's just that I misplayed so. So he flashed as well. Not sure if they would reset. I think if you use it once, um, it's gonna go on cooldown. So that's why I just use it on minions because I assume it's gonna be on cooldown anyway. But yeah, that was misplayed. I missed my W on bar that was face checking me. I <laughs> I would like to say it's because I just woke up. I mean, like one hour ago. It's my first game of the day. So you know, missing a W like that is is is. is it's not very good, you know, it does make you look very good, but uh, I still managed to get a double kill, so I think that's good. I don't think that's a good idea to... Shit. Take this. No, that was not a good idea. Especially to chase them. <laughs> Especially the chase part was not a good idea. We buy mercs because we are chasing part a lot and that makes the game harder and more annoying. Uh, like I mentioned, we are going to go for the Blade of the Ruined King. Uh, I think maybe... I actually don't know what is the best to buy. I think attack speed is not bad, but we have a lot of attack speed and on hit procs. So we don't really need that much attack speed. We don't actually need that much life steal. But maybe we combine the life steal AD and attack speed. Maybe that's like the best combo we can get. So the game becomes hard because, well, we are doing a lot of things one by one, right? I think right now if I use my... Because this also gives you mind speed, right? But I don't think I can reach him. I mean, I can reach him, but I don't think it's a good idea, honestly. <laughs> that was, uh, yeah, that was not a good idea. That was definitely not a good idea to do that. I just kind of ran it down, literally. Uh, well, I, I need to focus up because if I keep playing this way, we are not going to win. Because I'm the carry in this game. I have six skills, but I'm kind of running it down. Um, so I think we have to be very careful. I have to be very careful. 
the first time I see Poppy with a Muramana though. I mean, not Muramana at least, but Fear of Goddess. I guess a lot of tanks buy it, so maybe it's not literally the first time. Us staying on the tower was not the smartest. Ah, I misplayed this. I misplayed this, I misplayed this. I missed my Q. If I don't miss my Q, maybe I can play it. I mean, again, it's 2v4, right? I need 1,000 gold only, and then I get my blade, and then I'll have a lot of damage. I think I'm playing bad this game, because, well, first of all, I died five times, because I'm very dis disrespectful to his opponents, uh, because I'm not playing on my usual account, right? I think this is, like, a low master tier, so I'm very, very disrespectful towards them. And besides that, I, uh, well, I'm just inting, right? <laughs> There is a bug with Kraken Slayer, it doesn't show you how much damage did it do. I think it did a lot of damage. I cannot I cannot prove it to you because it's bugged, but it definitely did a lot of damage. Well if anything we have to go on the Talia, but I think it's not gonna work. He's two levels ahead. Three levels ahead. Ooh, the bug is here too. I think I have to flash. That's not very good. Um I'm just dead. I think they are moving a lot. So it is. It makes it complicated when they are moving so much and everything. It looks like Urgot might be in trouble, though. I don't think he can survive that. And we also have a reset on Jinx. I think I should have flashed sooner there. Um, you know, as soon as I see back, or at least the Urgot ult, flashing the Urgot ult will probably also maybe save me. I don't even win because since I didn't farm that much, I'm also like levels behind of the solo laners, right? It's, the, it's also the jungle nerfs, but I mean, enemy Talia is level 11. I'm only level 9. You cannot use W to dash over walls, though. You can use ult to dash over walls if you want. Yeah, maybe facing that rush was not the smartest as well. Maybe that was not that great. Um, I think I want to make plays on the like side of the map where they are not, but the problem is that they are on both sides because they have mid priority um, and they have a bard, and bard makes rotating very fast and easy for them. Besides Drake was up, right? So it makes sense that I went to Drake. I think I always want to try to kill the Victor when he is alone or the Urgot when he is alone. The only problem is that like I'm so squishy in this game, but this game definitely does not look very bright for us so far. Not even sure if this is possible. He hasn't flush. Okay, he's very dead here. If I don't use my ult, will it go on cooldown or not? Yeah, it does. So no matter what, it will go on cooldown. I have blade now, so my damage is gonna be very high. Not sure how likely this is, because the problem is that I can Urgo TP on this. Yeah. They have Talia and they have Urgot. So, um, this is what happens. And I'm getting stunned as well. Bard is kiting me. I'm dead! <laughs> God damn it, Bard! Why are you so annoying? Uh, the next item would be Sterak. Um, Sterak got nerfed. But you want Sterak because you want to be slightly more tanky. Right, right now I'm just getting like, one shot because I'm super squishy. So I want to make sure I have like an item that will give me a little bit of tankiness. Wait! 1000. 1000 damage. She did... 97, so I did um, 10 times more than her. I think an enemy team might get Nash here though, and this could be the over of the, the, the end of the game. I'm kind of sad because I don't really feel like I... You know, Diego is so OP and I'm really not showing it in this game. I'm 8 and 8, it's very sad. I'm a very sad Diego. Because I could be like 20-0 with the champ if I play well. I don't think I played very well in this game. I think you can still see um, how strong is the champion though. I think you can still kind of see the damage of the champion. I also think that in this game it was much harder to play because uh, of enemy team moving so much. That being said, if you are ever in a position where you can, uh, you know, be a one-on-one -on -one with Viego or basically be more mindful of uh, opponents roaming. Because in this game, we, we, did, we I mean, I wouldn't say that we ignore that opponents roaming, but we also were really disrespectful towards it, right? Like right now, for example, Victor is trying to make a play on me, so it's much easier for me to outplay it and it's much easier for me to make my own play, kind of. But if, let's say, I 
always run into them with Viego, it's not gonna end well, right? So you, you want to be in position where... I mean, not necessarily that they have to run into you, you just don't want to be in position where they have like 10 people and they are chasing you and, well, you will basically not do anything because you will just die, right? I don't think that it's very possible for us to fight for the Drake. Actually, we have to rush it, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> this doesn't look like a good fight because it's a 5v5 fight. I mean, I did have like 3,000 gold almost in my pocket, right? Um, the thing is, if I don't buy Sterag, it doesn't change if, uh, you know, I base or not base. I was hoping we could actually win this fight because I think if Poppy Ulz that would go, then we one-shot the Bart or... Basically, we kind of killed them one by one. I was hoping that we can maybe win this fight. Like, it was for sure winnable, but we will have to play it much better than them, right? For them, it's much easier to play this fight because, well, they are in position where... Oh, I mean, they are just so ahead, right? They have three drags as well before that fight starts. I think they cannot end the game, though. And I do think that Urgot is strong enough to maybe defeat me. I, I think I can play solo kill everyone else, though. Ah, if I could capture the soul, I'll become invincible and I will just like escape over the wall with Bart Portal. That was definitely, uh, definitely doable, you know? Like me escaping that, that play was definitely doable. Uh, what I can also do, instead of GA, I can go Witsend. I think Witsend is not gonna be that bad because of, uh, well, how annoying the victor is here. I think the Witsend may, 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 may make sense here. <laughs> Look at my KDA, yeah, I'm 11, 10 and 0. <laughs> no assists. Either I kill or I die, there's no in-between. There's no team play, there's only me. Okay, they're not doing it, oh sh... I think they have vision now, so otherwise they will not be doing this. I think I might be dead as well. Yeah, I'm very dead. I'll get trapped by Caitlyn. I don't even flash. Oh, Caitlyn missed her trap, did she? Maybe she didn't. I mean, it, it, it is a hard position to be in, you know? I, I do, do think that our team got like kind of outscale at this point, so it is a hard position to be in. I guess we killed the Victor. Um, I think she's dead to Caitlyn Uto. Oh, he got just cancelled on the other side of the wall. The thing is they will go Nash, but maybe... If we win the Elder fight, right, we can still win the game. If we somehow steal the Elder or win the Elder fight, we can still end the game with the Elder, so it's still possible. And my KDA is just crazy in this game. It's absolutely crazy. I still hope I will at least end with more kills than that, but it could be hard at this point. So now is the problem because now they group. Last time, you know, they went on me and I got two kills. But if they just go mid together, I think we don't really have enough damage to deal with them well. By the way, E you can also use on the, these walls and it's actually crazy. Like here, if I use E on this wall, maybe I could survive that. This is probably game over. I don't think this fight is very win winnable or it doesn't actually. Oh no. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. They still got the Drake. I got three asses this fight. I didn't actually do anything though. I used my flash to try to flash on the victor, but then he got walled. Are you serious? Like if Victor ends it again and he dies like that, I think this is the best fight we can get. It does not look great, does it guys? Doesn't really look great. It's like a little bit deep from the poppy. Hard to follow on this. Um. I mean, that was close. I did almost one tap her, and the item difference is pretty huge. I did end the game with. Uh, <laughs> somehow, I did end the game with more deaths than kills. This is absolutely disgusting. I think I'm very not satisfied, but. Uh, well, it, it is mostly to show, I suppose, uh, how strong Diego can be, and I think that was shown. Um, it is a very, very strong champion right now. I think the damage that he provides is crazy. I did the most damage in this game. I don't think it counts, though, because, um, well, I was hinting so much, right? If you have 12 deaths, then at least you have the best damage, because if you have 12 deaths and you don't have the best damage, then what were you doing this game, right? So, uh, I do think Diego is very strong. 
I think that Kraken Slayer and uh, Blade combo makes him insanely powerful. I think in team fights he can be very good too. Uh, I don't think they are the bad champions against Viego as well because they can kite me well. Uh, and we don't have any engage. Maybe we, instead of Lulu we are playing something like Leona. I think that will be much, much easier to play, basically engage support. Uh, but I think Viego will be uh, used in uh, pro play as soon as it is unlocked because currently it's logging pro play. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I surely did, even though I had so many deaths. Um, I'm counting on a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see a different champion or a different item build on a certain champion, please make sure to leave a comment so I'm aware of what you want me to play. See you next time.